going to use our GDC to do some probability distributions. And in this uh, podcast, we're going to calculate the mean expected value and standard deviation of probability distributions. And then we're going to draw a histogram of the probability model. Okay, so let's consider this example we have. We have a certain medical research that has chemotherapy successful 70% of the time when used to treat skin cancer. In a study to check the validity of such a claim, researchers use different treatments and choose five patients at random. Here's a probability distribution of the number of successful treatments for group of five. So here is our probability model or our probability distribution. I want to find the... Uh, I'm just going to go right straight to the questions that I was talking about this one here. I want to find expected value and then I'm also going to do uh, standard deviation and then I'm also going to do a last part that's going to say find uh, make the histogram, the histogram of the distribution, all with my calculator. So to find the expected value, I'm going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to go to, uh, hold on, here we go. We'll clear this list. So I go stat, I'm going to edit, and I'm going to go on top of this list. I'm going to clear what's there, go on top of L1, hit enter, or clear and enter. Go on top of L2, clear and enter. If I would hit delete, the whole list would go away. So now I'm going to put in my values for my uh, random variable are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1. And these are my outcomes for my random variable. My probabilities that are associated with it are 0 0.002. 0 0.029, 0 0.0, 0 0.132, 0 0.139, 0 0.360, 0.168. And those are all my probabilities. All these values should add up to 1 if I've entered them incorrectly. All right, so. I have them in my list here, and if I want to find the expected value, what I do is I go second, no I don't go second, I go, try that again, I go stat to my calculate menu, and I'm going to do one variable statistics, and I have to go L1, comma, L2. And, I, and so if I look up here, I have the values I'm looking for. I have 3.5. This is my expected value here. This is the mean or expected value. Expected value or you could say it's the mean, mu sub x. This value here is the standard deviation. Deviation. If I want to find the variance, what do I do with that value? Is I take that value and I square it. So if I go to my calculator, I could go to variables, and I can go to statistics, find my sigma, which is standard deviation, which is number four, and I can square it. And this here is my variance. So my variance is equal to 1.048. All right, the last part I'm going to show you is how to make a histogram of this part of probability di distribution. So to do it, I'm going to go to my stat plot. So I go second, stat plot, and it's off right now. I'm going to turn it on by hitting enter. And then the type I want, I want a histogram. So I take this one and I hit enter. And then I want my X list. My variable, random variable was in L1, and my frequency that's my L2 in this case. A lot of times the default is to have this to be 1, but in our case for making this, we want it to be L2. And then I want to go just zoom. If I go to zoom stat, it's a good start off window, which is zoom 9. Now, let's change our window, make it fit our data. If I change my window, I know I'm going from 0 to 6, actually, and one more than this. 
and I'm going to go a scale of 1s. I know my highest value is 0.36, so let's make this 0.4. Oh, that's my minimum. We'll make that negative 0.1. Oh, go 2. Oh, too many points, so I delete that one. Negative 0.1, and I'll make that 0.4 my maximum. And we'll go up by 0.1s. And now if I graph it, this here is my histogram. And when I look at this scenario here, this will tell me I have on my, this is the probability here, this is probability. And if I go here, this will be a value of 0.36, and this corresponds to 4, and 5, and 3, and 2, and 1, and 0. Those are all the things we've learned so far with our calculator for binomial, or no, not binomial, but for expected value, standard deviation, and probability distribution histograms for, ex for random variables.